guys, Johnny here, Sacred Bee Naturals. I got Steph in the back. Hi. And I got little Aurora back there and Olivia back there in the far, far back as well. Um, today is our big day. We are picking up our uh, honeybees. We are picking up two colonies, uh, which is the equivalent of 20,000 bees, 10,000 per colony. And we were pretty excited. Um, you know, in the beginning of this, mom said back there that she wanted to get honeybees. I didn't think she was super serious, so now I have a lot more anxiety because we're actually going to get honeybees. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm a tiny bit afraid of getting stung by a honeybee. Just a teeny weeny bit. So the next thing we should be seeing is we're going to be going to North 40. I imagine what's going to happen is we're going to give them the tickets. We have these little, these little slip tickets that shows live, uh, live purchase of animals. We'll go there, and then somehow we'll get the two little boxes. They're going to be wooden boxes with little nets stapled on them. Um, we'll put, and we're going to put them in the back, and then go home. We had to stop at Bymart to get some wide mouth jars because the non wide mouth jars were not wide enough to feed our bees through the little hole that we plan on feeding them through. So we had to stop at Bymart in Deer Park, Washington before we pick up the honeybees so that we are prepared. But mom is dealing with a um, tree that she decided to buy. Because <laughs> we don't have enough to do today. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we now bought a apple tree, Granny Smith apples. Granny Smith, those are the red ones? Green. Are the green ones? Yeah. So they're oh. sour? Yeah. Huh. Well, good thing I like Granny Smith apples. I think they taste just fine. But you know, I do like the sweet ones too. Yeah, well, they didn't have those. Well, they did have them, but I don't know. I didn't know what kind they were, so. You know what's funny? I didn't buy it. The landlord said we couldn't cut any trees off our property, but he never said we could add trees onto the property. Hopefully, we don't get in trouble for that. Well, you got <laughs> an apple tree down. Added is one we can take. We'll just take it with us, huh? <laughs> we'll get it all nice and fifty years old. Just take it out of the earthy. It's my and, tree. Yeah, dig it, dig that sucker up, and be like, I'm taking my tree. Or do we just leave it there? We can just leave it. Yeah. All right. Heading to North. What, babe? We can always buy a new tree. We can always buy a new tree. This is the first tree I've ever bought, by the way. It's the first tree we have ever bought. I've never bought a tree before. So I think it's official, honey. This, we are adults now. <laughs> we bought a tree. <laughs> We're adults. High five. We made it. Don't mind the kids. <laughs> the children we have. <laughs> Anyways, all right, you guys. Heading to North 40. See you there. Okay, here we go. We are pulling into North 40. I got a little anxiety about this. I'm excited, but nervous. Um, we're supposed to drive to the back with our slip, and then we pick up our honeybees. Hi, quick question for you. Do you know where the honeybees are? Honeybees? Yeah, we're picking up our honeybees here today. Oh, they're in the back around the corner. Just take a right and go around the corner. Oh, okay, do, do I have to check in inside or are they just going to be out there? That's what I thought. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. That looks pretty. Where? <laughs> clipboard looks official. You know where I pick up the honeybees? Uh, that's where these cats are going. They're on their way here. They'll be here in less than 30. Oh, they're not here yet? No. Okay, we'll go park. Thank you. All right, you guys. We are here, we're waiting. Apparently our honeybees are not here yet. But they're on their way, and we're in the parking lot now and waiting. Okay, well we've been waiting here for a little while now. It's uh, about three o'clock, we got Aurora. She had to hang out with her daddy. Oh, baby girl. She wanted to hang out with me, um, and we're getting kind of tired and we're still waiting. So we're still here, but Honeybees are almost here. Right, babe? <laughs> All right. See you when they get here. All right, Dad. Am I just putting them back here, baby? Yeah. Okay. See them all in there? Oh, they're really just there. They're open. They're not open. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Shit, his are crawling out of there. Yeah, there it's open. 
<gasps> That's not good. We might have to go get the truck. Well, the other people do it with a sedan. Yeah, but there's bees flying all over. Well, I mean, it look nice. Should we go get the truck instead? What? Should we go get the truck instead? We just have a baby in here. <laughs> you got this. That's what I was worried about. Okay, <laughs> I'll put her in a curse seat. Bare hands, no gloves. Hmm. FYI, there's probably 30, 40 bees on the outside of this. I know. Okay. I think it'll be fine. Oh gosh. I hope. Keep it cool, Lily. We'll right. Can't turn back now. Can't turn back now, that's right. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's just hurry. Okay. Well, well, we gotta be gentle. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure that. <laughs> you need to keep that recording this whole time. Oh my gosh. This. So much for sealed. Yep, they're in here. Did we roll the windows up so there's no wind in here? Yeah, probably. Oh gosh. Caleb, okay, let's be calm, okay? Yep. Don't worry, they're not gonna. Keep them away. They're they not gonna sting you. They want to stay by their queen, okay? They don't want to sting you. Oh They'll die if they do. If you if they do. Yeah. Here we go. I do. Oh my gosh! I cannot believe. We've got, we've got 20, bees. Yes, it's I like, hear them. Like they love the sound of them. Sound of them. Okay. Yeah. There's probably okay, go. about 40 bees, 50 bees on the outside of a container yeah, that are they're loose. On the they're loose inside of here with us. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at them all. And oh. they are hopefully excited. <laughs> Olivia's in the back. Olivia's all the way in the back getting getting acquainted with them. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bravest girl. Olivia is the bravest girl. Seen. These are nice bees. They are nice bees. Oh, they sound so cool. Honey, I'm just gonna drive this vehicle all the way back to where our Hives are going. We have a car full of bees and children. Hey, but we watched, um, I watched a guy on YouTube transport like yeah. 10 colonies in the back of his van and he was fine. The bees don't want to be, they don't want to sting you. They're just, they're the nicest, sweetest bees there are out of all bees. They're honey bees. They just want to make honey and be happy and they just want to make their queen happy. That's it. So, um, you know, they don't want to sting you as long as you stay calm. You know, they will sting you if they get mad, but um, as long as you stay calm and don't freak out, they typically won't sting you. Olivia so, is staying very calm. Is it cool? Olivia, Olivia can see him. Olivia, can you see back there? I don't think she should. I think she should. Yeah. She sees one. You know, there's like 30 of them in the window. outside. Yep. Um, these are all so the weird thing is um, I thought these were sealed boxes and yeah. it looks like the plate that they usually put on top of the box is no not existent. Oh that, that little wood. <laughs> yeah. But I okay. kind of wonder if you had a high bust open or something. Or if this is just part for the course. I think this is it's all different for it depends on where you get them from I think. I think this is just the version that we got. Okay, we got the version without the little lid. Alright. Just sit up. You know, it'd be kind of funny to just sit. Don't put your head back. <laughs> what? Just don't put your head back, Liv. I don't know where it went. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Okay. Ooh. Just close your eyes, Louie. That's a big one. That's like a trial. No, that looks like a, it's whoa, a, whoa, it is whoa, a big whoa, one. Whoa, whoa. I'm off. trying not to, but I'm also trying not to let them fly by lid. Okay. 
And there's some big ones back here. If the one lands on you, just look at it. It's just like a pretty little ladybug. They really are. I mean, they're, funny. they're cute little guys. They're, well, it's true. They are. They're they're harmless. That one is a big one. <laughs> that was a fat one. Drones can't sting you though. That's good. Really? Yeah. So really. How are you doing, Liv? Doing okay, tough girl. They sound pretty calm. Yeah, they got a lot quieter. Yeah. You got any sugar on you? Land on you? Okay. Someday I'll probably put sugar on my arm and let it come out and eat it all off of my arm. You could do a bee beard. A bee beard? That would be kind of cool. Maybe if we get like so many subscribers. I do a bee beard. Johnny will do a bee beard. A thousand subscribers. I tell you what, by a thousand subscribers. Ten thousand. Ten thousand, okay. <laughs> ten thousand. Make it worth it. Ten thousand subscribers, and I'll do a bee beard, okay? <laughs> right now we don't have any. <laughs> it's okay. There you go, world. There's our challenge to you. Johnny will do a bee beard if we get 10,000 subscribers. With little Johnny. Me? <laughs> oh, little Johnny. <laughs> and little Johnny. No. All right. We're almost done, baby girl. Well, awesome. now you can say that you rode in a car with 20,000 bees. Uh, um, just in case there's a bee back there huh? hanging out. <laughs> She's leaning forward, and I thought I saw a bee go back behind her back, but. Well, I'm leaning forward. Well, maybe this will ruin your your fear of bugs, Lizzie. Yeah, maybe. Why don't you hit the brakes and like 30 bees fly over? That'd be funny. Yeah. Send the brakes and I get like pegged in the back of the head by 20 bees. Right. <laughs> oh, I didn't even I didn't know that they didn't fall off the. <laughs> Gotta buckle them all up next time. Doing good, Sid. She's huge. Is she freaking out at all? No. She freaking out. How you doing, Livy? Doing good. How you doing, baby girl? Say good. Does you want to talk? She's too afraid to talk even. Her. That's okay. If I was five, I'd probably be pretty scared. There's a billion bees in the back of my car. In the back of the car. We're here. We're here. Calling. Oh. Okie dokie. We are here. So if we open the back. Okay. Oh, should we get the things open? Not just yet. Not just yet. There's a couple things we have to do. You got dead ones? All right. Oh, not bad. Not too oh, look at that. Okay, you guys. Johnny, make sure it's all it's all clear. See, at the bottom here, you guys, we don't have very many dead bees at all. That is a good sign. This looks like a healthy hive from what we've researched. We're not professionals by any means at this, but these are our first bees. That looks like a drone. Huge. Yeah, those are three drones there and then a bunch of worker bees. So these big bees don't even have stingers, okay? They're not gonna sting you, bud. No, but now if you begin to bees. smell the smell of like banana laffy taffy, that's when it's you know time to get a little bit worried because they're yeah, because they get all mad. Also, like to show you these rocks that we have here. Uh, these are called shungite, and Mama did some research because she's a rock girl. And of course she found a rock that the bees love. So we're gonna see how that does for their uh, health of their hives um, and their production. And they'll also spread the shungite around and pollinate other flowers. So pretty excited to see how that all goes. Um, there's only a few uh, places I can, that I've found that actually have shungite with their bees. Okay. Hmm? Okay. She's, she lost it. Woo! 